Welcome back. If you were here for the last episode, then, well, you'd realise that we might potentially be in a quite precarious situation. And as long as Kaguya hasn't called the police, then most things should be fine. And so, yes, hopefully you'll join me for the ill-fated tidings of everyone involved, and the relatable, even if I don't want him to be, Ishigami. So let's get going. Okay, why is it leading straight off with Hindi? It's nice that they're referencing other kind of religions and beliefs. I wonder what that's a reference for. And I already have to fear for Ishigami's safety. What an intro. There seemed to be some sort of battle over cake. Was it trying to conflate the cake incident with the War of the Gods? I really don't know what to make of most of this, because it is fun and slightly cute, but almost irritating in the way that they conduct themselves. Also, the slightly, well, the pink chrome-plated guns didn't look too bad. They're growing on me. Is this the cake? Mmm. I'm guessing that there was... I'm guessing there was only, what, two cakes and Ishigami had one of them? Mm. Uh, I guess he was a um a gentleman, so to speak. Of course they couldn't just drop it straight away. So he's damned if he does and damned if he don't. So, yeah. Poor president. I don't think you can hold that bit against her, though. He has a much less... of a reason... To be annoyed. Yep, he had one of the cakes. Careful. What about Chica? Does she get any? I think I can tell how this is going to go. Even if she's not present, she's going to end up eating it. So it went from... Polite... No, please, you have it. They've been fighting for 20 minutes over an hour! No wonder Ishigami is frightened. 
for someone who doesn't like conflict, that cake is going to get stale before they're even done fighting, aren't they? Just... Just... <laughs> cool for s the saviour. And Ishigami's uh, prerogative there, run away. That's got to hurt if you... Blood vessels burst like that. What caused her to change her hairstyle? Hmm. So that's why he's... That's a good reason to try and make her take the cake. Trivial. Sure. Try to hide your bliss or something over... As I called it. Although I didn't... Expect the noise. There couldn't be any... Less obvious, could they? Mm. For a few years, Christmas has been just like, meh. Same. It's just a day. If it wasn't for having to... For being forced to... Meet up with family and whatnot. What a face. Is this a Christmas cake, though? I haven't seen those types of cakes that they have in Japan anyway, so... <clears throat> Don't feed him. Ah, there wasn't a singular fork. But here, they both win. Why don't you... How about... There isn't a time... F yes. All at once, get over and done with, then you won't have it stolen from you. We can't have a situation like this last too long. Kind of formulaic, really. She just wanted the cake. <laughs> Everybody loses. Especially Shigami. The revolt... The Roles have reversed for once. This time it's her asking for it. I wonder if, um, the president will be asking for advice from the, the boyfriend. It should got me? Hmm. Not exactly my first go to, but sure. True, Ishigami does seem to be in quite a lot of trouble, so... He'd be quite good at getting himself out of situations rather than being the love master. I'm not sure you can also gain experience from just reading manga, but...
Oh, so, so many things. Yeah. That phrase is essentially, it is about me. Be careful how you word this. <laughs> yeah, those you'll be <clears throat> having some court cases come up if you word things that badly. It's just getting worse. He did. And that's what she's angry about. Ne, ne, ne. Oh, you've got a lot of issue, got me. He has, uh... If only he was a bit more confident he would be able to actually say these kind of things in front of actual people and defend himself. And actually probably just end up getting himself killed. The snake eating its own tail, Robbers. There was a certain element to both of you, but then again, it's the maid's fault. Did he? You know, if that was the case, I've been in this kind of situation before, so I have no idea anything's going on. You know, it would be nice if you kind of actually stated what you were feeling, and if I've done something wrong, bloody tell me. Otherwise, you won't be able to fix the behaviour. <laughs> Why did you ask for his advice if you're just going to complain about him? I don't believe he's would be able to do that. Getting her to reflect on her own thinking here. <clears throat> Who are you apologising for? Or to? And cut to Shigami. <laughs> yeah, we should be more annoyed when it's trivial things. Especially when it's out of our... Out of our hands. Does he have something to feel guilty about? Wait. What? That wasn't entirely the truth, was it? <sighs> what did he do? Brush her hair or something? Could 
Could have been worse. She's going to be... Exuberant about that, isn't she? Today's result, everybody wins. Or loses, whichever way you look at it. She's going to hold that moment forever, isn't she? Huh? <laughs> what is it with you? Yay! I'm sure she would have had loads of plans in her head about what she can be doing to try and spend time with him. I doubt that there's nothing. Oh, they never actually went. So once again, they're relying... On Fujiwara-san. <sighs> Is Ishigami going to end up having to tag along? Why do the girls look like delinquents and the guys look like, well, me? Ah, if he brings it up, then it's going to be almost a like confession. That's what they can't have. The sense of derision. That's what he's trying to avoid, isn't it? He got top. So you're trying to get her to come up with the ideas and plan it all out. She's so easy to trick. Good for you! She just kind of accepts anything, don't she? She's your whatever. But without Chica there to uh, implement things, how she's how is she going to come up with plans to spend time with him? Ah. She's given up. Is the hero going to be Ishigami once again? He can't do anything right here. How long is their summer break? When did she... When did she get so... 
so set on uh, studying and exams. I like the music. Hmm. She is the wild card. That's your. Is this time for a big brain moment? And this is... He's saying it's so heartfelt as well. Hawaii studying as soon as the festival is uh, announced sh she's in why are you in S wait what how could you forget you're going to Spain if you were meant to be Doing studying and one up for exams. Good thing that Kagya got in there that she wanted to go beforehand, but <laughs> it's the truth, though. Ah. Oh. Wow, what a, uh, what a curse. Hmm. He got, he got recognition and consolation there, so, well done. <laughs> Victory for everyone except for Joao. Print screen. Fujiwara is one of those people, it's like, if I can't enjoy it, no one else can. So they're not allowed to go to the festivals, she's not there. I've known people like that, just not to that extreme. And, uh, I wish more people were kind of reliable and logic based, like Ishigami, and just say things straight, even if it does get him in trouble. And I am slightly perturbed that Kaguya Summer is almost over. There's only a few episodes left. But I've been enjoying it so far, so. And going back to the cake moment from right at the beginning of this episode, I have been in that position for. Where it's like, uh, you have it. And it being back and forth. Unfortunately, no one is quite as stubborn as I am, so I don't end up having the cake or anything, but I guess it's a moral victory. And there's something that I both really like about Kaguya-sama, and annoys me at the same time. It's the same element, and I hold both feelings towards it. Because they're always on the precipice of understanding each other's feelings and just accepting it. But no, 
never close enough to actually realise. Or do anything about it. Despite all of their shenanigans and plans. Although we do know almost for certain that if you ever need anything for certain to happen, never have Fujiwara involved. Just stay out of the room. Because any plans become immediately derailed when faced with the enemy. And in this case, that's Chica. But sometimes you need that kind of airheaded lightheartedness. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and along with that you can do two more things, liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Of course, if you've done that, notification bell, make sure you don't miss anything. And Kaguya is one of those series where it's just... They can do a lot, considering they've only shown us, what, three different backgrounds? The student council room, the grass outside, and, well, Kaguya's house. But there's still some more to come, so hopefully you'll be there with me. So get some rest. I'll see you in the next one. Of course, I wouldn't be able to do all of this with my channel and the episodes that I bring out to you. Without all of you watching along. So I really do thank each and every one of you. But of course, there are a few that do stand out above the rest. If you wish to join them, head over onto Patreon. Much like Floor Taku, who I once again have to really thank. So, more than ever, thank you.